So if I give you a quick rundown of the actual triads we're going to play that are all part of D major, then we're going to have D, E minor, F sharp minor, G, A, B minor, C sharp diminished, and back to D again, an octave up. Right, so let's go. We're going to start uh, an exercise in 4-4 four, four, um, at 50 BPM, so nice and slow. I said it was nice and slow, but actually it's quite a test, isn't it, to keep consistent and just play with the finger strength, with the little finger. So many different things to think about when you're not used to it, just getting through those eight different uh, positions. If you notice, I also went to a different rhythmic feel halfway through. Um, we had the 12-8 feel, which is basically groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you get 12 quavers in the bar there. So bit of a contrast between the 4-4 feel and then the 12-8 feel. So we're going to put it up a notch now to 80 BPM and I'm going to add a drum beat, a bit of a backing track, so we get more of a realistic feel. Okay, let's go. Right, let's go for real fluency now and play the whole 4-4 four, four pattern twice, so that whole sequence, do it twice, and then the 12-8, we'll do that twice as well, so it goes really round and round so you can get your fingers really into it and hopefully your muscles will be really relaxed by then and tired, okay, and let's see how it goes.
quite a workout. I think I'm going to have a rest now. So I hope you enjoyed that. And um, have a look at my playlist uh, for other videos of for guitar and bass. And uh, also my site, jules5.com. I'll see you soon.